Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 24 of the Iron Man series. Once again, a huge delay on this episode, I know, but Destiny was recently released and I tried to resist. I told myself not to play it until I had uploaded this episode, but then the weekend came along and I figured I'll just do the first mission, try it out, but once I completed the first mission, I then told myself just until I get to the, get to the first town. And then the next thing you know, it's Monday and I'm playing the end game content already. But I tore myself away for just a little bit so I could finally upload this episode to you all. Picking up 93 thieving to start this episode, only 6 more levels to go. Oh shit, we just hit 94 thieving, only 1 more level to go until we stop failing on the night. That is going to be so nice. There it is, 95 thieving, only 4 more levels to go and we can now no longer fail on the arty night. That is going to increase the XP an hour by about, I think it's like 30 k 30 40 k ish maybe 20 k i don't know but it increases the xp an hour and it is super nice about a day later we are picking up 98 thieving we are on the final stretch just one more level and a massive shout out to scoob here he has been splashing for me since about level 93 what an absolute champion we are just one pickpocket away from 99 thieving i didn't want to do anything special but these guys came along anyway so thank you to jonah frederick and fish monks Let's get this level. And there it is, 99 thieving achieved. And shout out to Jamie. Let's pick up this cape. We did end up getting 8.2 mil from 91 to 99 through Arty Night. So that's pretty damn good. Give the cape away. Oh, welcome back, Jonah. And let's do the emote. Look at that. Very nice. Just completed the Halloween event and we finally have the purple house. I've been wanting this for a long time. I'm super happy to have it finally unlocked. Back on the ranger boot grind. Let's open it up. And crap. Oh, Shazian banner. That's the last banner we needed from mediums. Whoa, 767k. What? Damn, that is an expensive page. Just found a dragon impling. We no, no longer need the boost for them. But we still need a jar. Fuck. Take two. What do we get? Whoa, that is super good. I am really happy with that. That is 640k. Far out. This clue step is so out of the way and such a pain in the ass to get to. And it is easily the step I get most often. Let's open it up though. And junk. Whoa, that is clue 203. We are actually 3 over 200. That is more than the 50 clues this episode, but I still feel good. I want to smash out some more, so let's continue. Dragon in clean. What do we get? Whoa, I know someone who would be extremely mad about that. But he is not online, so do not blame me. Those darts are worth 640k, by the way. Holy shit. This is casket 254, and I believe we started this session with 151, or around about there. So if you're wondering why there haven't been many clips for the last 100 or so caskets, is because we've got fuck all. But let's see what we get now. It remains the same. Fuck all. I decided to do one more, number 255, see if we can test our luck one last time. And no, over 100 mediums done this episode though, so it was a nice session. We'll try again next episode. Just quickly, I forgot to mention, we did walk away with over 1 million gold in just from the Elks, from all those clues and the Implings I caught. So that is, re that's a nice bonus reward. Just doing a bit of Slayer and we have another casket. And a Zami plate body, not bad. Back on the Slayer grind, so here come the clues. And that is actually a decent clue, three uniques. I'm not sure if they are all unique though. The uh, Red Dehyde G just completed the set for us, so that is really good. Saves two bank spaces. We just got a Fossil Island Wyvern task. I am, uh, I've never done them before, so this is going to be something new, and we might just knock out that uh, new shield. Let's have a look. First kill, four Rana Weeds. What the fuck? They're so nice. Oh no, 186 Kel fights. I can't do them yet. We're only 81 prayer and I don't have it banked. I'm gonna have to cancel it. That is so sad to see. 
Just the weekly reminder to come join the CC and hang out with me if you're bored. 181 Dagonists. I would like to go to the normal ones and try and squeeze out a few medium clues, but we really need that prayer experience, so off to DK's. Dagoneth Supreme Kill 111. We pick up another Dragon Axe. Oh, I have no room. I did die, by the way. Fuck, you saw it. <laughs> the very next kill, we pick up the Mud Battle Staff. Kill 99 at Rex. We are now picking up our second Berserker Ring. Some people are going to hate me for that one. And we also pick up another Archer's Ring. Wow. This is a nice trip. And there is the second Dragon Axe of the task, and holy fuck. We can do it, don't worry. What am I doing? Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm normally good at that, okay? Two kills left on the task. We pick up a third Dragon Battle Axe. I mean, just a Dragon Axe. So we just finished the Dagoneth task and we missed four bones somehow. I killed one of the little guys, so that counted as a kill and I missed four bones, but that's all right. Let's look at the loot tab for 180 kills. We got three dragon axes, one mud, mud battle staff. That is tough to say. Berserker ring, archer's ring, and the rest of the junk here. And the bones comes out to be 7.4, oh, pretty much 5, 7.5 mil task. That is so nice, and that is so much experience. We have the clue from the DKs, and junk. Picking up another elite clue here at Lizardmen Shamans, that is a 1 in 1200. We have the elite casket, and wow, that is really bad. What the fuck? No. Ah! Open it! It's junk! We have a hard clue from Shamans. What? What is that? Oh man, that's gotta be one of my worst yet. We have another hard casket. A green? I don't think that one is a unique. Ah oh, well. Another casket. And it, it's better than the last one at least. Here we are at Cave Horrors on a Slayer task, and I'm hoping for a Black Mask because I still need three on the account, and we end up picking up a Curved Bone, the first one on this account, believe it or not. We have another casket, and a Black Cavalier. I think that's my first one, so that's a nice unique. Woo! That was extremely close, 6 HP. That could have fucking killed me, but there we go. That is our third Fire Cape. No pet, unfortunately, but a new personal best at 41 minutes, 20, 27 seconds. I feel like it, it has been forever since we got one of these. I'm very happy to see that. Always love seeing that drop. Oh shit, an elite clue from Abyssal Demons. That's really rare, right? I think that's like 1 in 1200, just like shamans or something. Damn. We are picking up a second whip this task. That feels so good because I feel like we're over the drop rate for these. So that is really nice. Okay, we have the hard and elite from the abyssal demon task. Two whips, so it's been pretty good already. Let's see what we get from the caskets. Whoa, okay. Those are a unique. I'm happy with that. And the elite is just as, it's pretty crap, but I'm happy with that first one. We got another casket just towards the end of that Abyssal Demon task. And average. Alright, the update for the Gargoyle boss is counting down right now as you can see. And I was going to start skipping tasks so I can pick one up. But I got a bloody Shaman's task and I just cannot skip these. I do really want that Dragon Warhammer. But hopefully the next task we can pick one up. There is the first Longbone from Shamans. I'm not mad, like, that's to be expected. It's a 1 in 400, 1 in 300 or some shit, but there is the first one. There is 96 attack, only 3 more levels until 99, and 1 mil XP till 97. Holy shit, I almost missed that, but there is 96 Slayer, just 3 more levels to go. And of course, another casket. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. I think that one is a unique too. I'm happy with that. That's what I wanted to see. Another black mask. Only two more left to go on the account for the four helmets and the one in the house. And another one. Uh, just, yep. Yeah, mm, seems about right. Finally, holy shit. 245 gargoyles. Hopefully we can pick up that key. 
but that is going to have to wait till next episode because I am I am itching to get back to Destiny 2. I'm not gonna lie. But before we get that, we need we need to prepare something so we are not just XP wasting like I've done for the last three days. If you guessed Karambon fishing, you were correct because we do need that 91 fishing and I need something extremely AFK so I can play Destiny 2 while I have RuneScape on the other, uh, the other screen. So this seems like the perfect mix, the perfect option. So I'm going to sit here, buy some uh, Karambwanji and then uh, we'll be knocking out some fishing soon enough. But once again, you have reached the end of another episode. I just want to quickly say thank you to everyone. I am almost at 2,000 subscribers, which is bloody insane. I'm honestly shocked. And I do have a special episode of the Iron Man series in the works to celebrate and say thank you to all of you. I know it's been a lot of skilling lately, so hopefully you will all enjoy it. Also, if you're playing Destiny 2 on PC, feel free to add me. My battle tag is on the screen right now, and it'll be in the description. But as always, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.